Queens and Janine is a novel set in Palestine. It spans about 60 years, starting in the early 1940s, and um, it goes through four generations of one single family from the village of Anhalt. In 2002, when there were reports of a, a massacre happening in the refugee camp of Janine, I, um, I just decided to go um, and see for myself what was happening. And I ended up being one of the first international eyewitnesses to, to the immediate aftermath of, of that massacre and what happened there. I came back and I started uh, writing about what I had witnessed, what I felt, um, the people I'd met, their generosity, their kindness, um, their fortitude, their defiance, and um, I just kept writing, not realizing that I was writing a novel. The principal character is Amal. Um, she is, uh, she's one of three siblings, um, and actually the story sort of revolves around these three siblings. Um, the, the older brother, Yusuf, uh, is born prior to the establishment of Israel. And, and so is his, uh, is the middle child, Ismail, who is um, actually kidnapped by an Israeli soldier and grows up uh, as, a, an, as an Israeli Jew. And the two brothers eventually meet on opposite sides of the war during the 1967 war. Um, and their, their youngest sister, Amal, um, was, uh, was the, the, the third sibling in this family who was born in the refugee camp of Janine and she is the one who narrates uh, much of the novel. The Palestinian narrative until recently has mostly been told by people other than Palestinians. It's been told by Israelis, it's been told by other people in the West, and it's taken really a generation of Palestinians who have grown up in the West to be able to narrate our own story in our own voice in Western languages and in the nuances of Western culture. It's been translated so far into 23 languages, and this novel, like most novels, really creates a space where people can meet and rediscover each other's humanity. And I think that's been, um, that's been one of the, uh, the beautiful things about this novel.